All right, so here's an example where we're using chemical decontamination practices uh, with a with a clay towel, and you've got artillery fungus, and it's gone. We've got some more on here. Let me find them. So there's one right here. So this stuff, a lot of times, what people try to do is they try to flick it off with their fingernail. But if you combat it with some chemicals and then just be diligent, boom, it comes right off. Um, clay towels are great. However, for standalone, they're not going to get rid of that. Um, it's not going to remove heavy contamination. It's not going to remove artillery fungus, things like that. You have to get at the root of the source with a chemical, but it's, to me, a lot safer. Uh, if you use traditional clay bar, you can definitely, uh, you know, damage it up. Now, here's another piece right here. So I'll take regular clay if I can find it. It just got knocked in the bucket. There it is. Okay, so we've got some fungus right here. Now this is kind of a crappy comparison because we've already got some fallout on there, but just some regular clay here. And it removes it too. Now, chances are there's probably more scratches in there. I could actually feel it within the clay. So, like I said, to reiterate, clay mitts do work the best when the car either has light contamination or when you use them with something like a follow remover as shown.